It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. IPO asks Southeast governors to deal decisively with enforcers of seats at home order. The news in full. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, has asked Southeast governors to deal with anyone caught enforcing the suspended seats at home order. Since the IPO suspended the directive in September 2021, there have been incidents of forceful, sometimes violent, enforcement by suspected talks. On Monday, suspected Udlum said to be enforcing the seat atom order set a vehicle on fire in a Kulobia Aguata local government area of Anambra, while a similar incident of forceful enforcement reportedly took place in Enugu State. Reacting to the development, IPOP said governors should deal decisively with those found enforcing this suspended uh, directive where the outlawed separatist group said that members of the ESN will be dispatched to also go after the corporates. However, the IPOP in a statement sent by its spokesperson Ma Powerful warned that President Muhammad Wari was making a mistake that is affecting Nigeria's integrity should he fail to release their leader Mazi in Amdekano. Treason accusations brought against him by the federal government and this was the reason why uh, President Muhammad Buhari was asked during an exclusive inter interview with Channel TV. He had said that Mazin Abdekanu would actually not be released uh, and she accounts for everything he had said while outside the country. And this was made known why Buhari said that it was a difficult decision for him just to, you know, say that he would release Mazin Abdekanu when he has not realized that what he, he did was wrong and that uh, no political solution will be addressed uh, can be used saying that uh, he would actually you know allow the legislative uh, the judiciary rather to do their work because one thing that one office uh, arm that he respects and does not want to interfere into is the judiciary those people of biafra leader mazen abdekanu while speaking abuba kamalami made it known that the president will continue to consider the interest of over 200 nigerians before he can think of releasing Mazen Abdekanu. It could be recalled that the former aviation minister Mbazulike Amichi actually went with the elders of the Southeast to meet President Muhammad Buhari, you know, for to seek the release of uh, in Abdekanu. However, it is think uh, it, 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 it was actually said, you know, by the Atom General Federation as a then that a political solution can actually, you know, foster the release of Mazen Abdekanu. But now uh, it is thing, uh, it, it, it is obvious that the Abubakar Malami has a vital point here that the interest you know of Nigerians you know uh, should be considered first before doing anything, and then these IPO members are truly you know Nigerian citizens, and their interest as well should be considered because if it can happen to Mazin Abdekanu, it can happen to anybody. And the interest of Nigerians you know must truly be considered first. But nevertheless, you know one has to still chill and wait to see what uh, will happen in this year 2022 as the indigenous people of Biafra had actually said that Mazen and the Kanu must be released this year. Challenges. Kanu stated that the action of the defendants on a solitary confinement is inhumane, degrading and constitutes a breach of section 34 of the 1999 constitution. He wants the courts to declare that the respondents while carrying out their duties are to abide by Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution. Kanu is praying the courts to declare that he is entitled to the enjoyment of his rights to dignity of human person as enshrined under Section 34 of the 1999 Constitution. He also wants the courts to order the respondents to immediately allow him to uh, appoint legal practitioners and medical personnel of his choice from any government or spitzel to review his health file. Khan equally wants the court to direct his movement from solitary confinement to where he would be allowed you know, to pray and practice his faith unhindered in line with constitutional provisions. And this was the uh, agitation of Mazin Abde Khan, who is at the DSS facility, saying that he, you know, after the court had said that he be allowed to be 
uh, to, to, to be in the DSS facility with enough attention and comfortability, and it should be given everything needed there. And uh, sees that in the, in, in, in the suit filed by his lawyer, Max Velopara, sees before the High Court that he's still, like, he's still denied uh, of food and medical care, clothes of his choice, and tries to practice his religion. Also seeing that uh, Mazen Adekanu claimed that the doctor that has been attended to him is a quack doctor and not experienced. After I read the report in the Tribune newspaper where the Igbo state governor said this, I thought it would be nice to take a look at the present situation of the country to know if Ob Uzodema is right by that statement. Despite COVID-19 pandemic, Nigerian was able to come out of the recession Oh, Uzodema believes that Buhari has done well by moving the country out of the recession despite the COVID-19 pandemic that was uh, ravaging the whole country. But some people will disagree with Uzodema because the cost of living is high, which is a clear sign that people cannot feel the impact of the recession which the country has exited. For example, the cost of cooking gas has tripled and the value of Naira is reducing by day. Also, many Nigerians are beginning to wonder how things will be if the federal government removes subsidy by the middle of next year. In addition, the insecurity in northern Nigeria has made it impossible you know, for farmers to go to the farm, and the consequence is an increase in food commodities like onion, yam, and tomato. I want to believe that Hope Uzodim made a political statement because ordinary Nigerians who are battling hardship we we'll disagree with him that Nigerians are happy with the president. People are joining the APC. What some people will ask is if joining the APC is a yardstick to measure the rate at which people are happy with the president. Uzadema forgot that ordinary Nigerians who struggle by day are after survival and not political power. It is common sense to say that people who join the APC are at this time looking ahead of the 2023 general election. While Uzodema is entitled to his opinion, I doubt if ordinary Nigerians who are complaining of the high cost of living will agree with him that people are happy with President Muhammad Buhari and that is why the APC is welcoming new members. This may be outrightly wrong, seeing that the people are joining APC because they are happy with President Muhammad Buhari looking at the adverse effect of the COVID-19 pandemic and also the clear sign of impact of the recession which the country had just exited, where the cost of food, gas, and many others are just so high that uh, Nigerians are beginning to wonder if the federal government, you know, uh, would actually increase yet again, uh, remove yet again the subsidy and the adverse effects on the Nigerian populace. Next Saturday to witness the presentation of a classic book written by Governor O. Uzodema. The book titled Reflections on the Igbo Question the board attempts to situate the marginalization of Indibo in Project Nigeria and how to best how best to overcome it. Thanks for listening and that is the news.